Hi guys, I wanted to show you quickly how you can use Quasio, which is an add-in for Google Docs and you can add it into Google Forms. And you can also use this math space to type math equations really easily, chemistry equations really easily, to insert graphs with just the click of a button. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. So first of all, if you go to the Chrome store and you just search out Equasio and then you add it to Chrome, you'll get the little add-in up here like that. And if you sign up with the link that I'll give you, you will be upgraded for free as a teacher and you'll get all the premium features. So once you're in a Google Doc, if you click on the little Equasio add-in, you'll see that you get this bar down here at the bottom. And there's a variety of different things. First of all, the equation editor, you can just type in some basic stuff. So if I wanna type in an integral, for instance, I would just start writing integral and you can see it's right there and then it's easy to just change the bounds. And then if I wanna do like x squared, just normally like I'm typing, I did caret two when it comes up with that, plus five x plus two dx. And then I would insert the math and it looks just like that. Let me try another one. So now let me do like a limit. You'll see that comes up like that. So the limit as x approaches, if I wanna do infinity, if I wanna do a fraction, 5x plus 2 over 11x squared plus 8, I don't know. And then I would just insert the math like that. We can also do any Greek symbols like pi would just come up and sine of theta would just come up and so forth. So let me delete that. Now these look like they're pictures, but actually if I click on them and I go to extract math, it'll bring that formula back up so I can always go back in and edit anything. Now something else pretty cool is this graph editor. I can insert any graphs, it's just powered by Desmos here. So y equals 5x plus two, there's the graph. I can even you know, put in the x and the y intercept, insert the graph, and there it goes. I can resize as wanted. If I wanted to change the window, if I change the window here, like that, for instance, and now I insert the graph, you'll see that it inserts it with whatever window that I had chosen. So that's just a really easy way to add graphs to anything. There's also this handwriting recognition. So if you have a tablet or something like that, I'm writing with my right hand right now. I'm a lefty and my mouse, so excuse the messiness but that works pretty nicely. There's also the speech input, so if I click on that, x squared plus 10x plus five equals zero. So I can do that. I can also do something like quadratic formula, and then it would just insert the quadratic formula for me there. I can also go to the options here and I can turn on the chemistry and the formula. So let me go ahead and do that so I can show you what that is like. So now if I'm in this math place, I can type in, you know, quadratic formula and it would just come up like that. I can also do chemistry stuff. Like if I start typing carbon, I can get carbon monoxide, for example. Um, and you'll see a lot of other formulas that are in here because I turned on formulas also, so like compound interest formula, just like that, and it's easy to insert. So that's a really quick overview of how you can use Equatio in Google Docs. There's also this Equatio math space that if you go to equatio.texthelp.com and you start a new space, and that's kind of like a canvas where you have more options here so you can add shapes like so. And you can add some connection tools and so forth and duplicate shapes and change the fill color and all that good stuff as well. This has all the features of adding equations and adding graphs and doing the handwriting recognition and also the speech input as well in this one you have some free hand drawing and some text mode options so again just wanted to keep this really quick and show some of the features of equatio